Hello friends, in this video, we will see how to use radio button for helper in MVC3 Razor. Now the HTML.radio button for helper renders a radio button on UI. The helper renders the input type equal to radio and this helper binds the control to the model's property. Now when you are using the model, model binding, you can use lambda expression using radio button for helper to bind the control to the model's property. Now let's see through the application how it works. Now here we have a simple model that is model class that is register wherein we have defined one boolean property that is this admin and this model is referred in the index.chstml view which is the register. Now here I am going to define a radio button using radio button for helper and it accepts the lambda expression that is the first, first parameter so we say c towards c dot is admin and the second parameter is the object value which will be used to set the value attribute of the control so let's uh, see the UI if I refresh my view you can see a radio button render and if you see the HTML you can see the is admin that is the property name is used to set the ID and the name attribute and the object value that is the second parameter is used to set the value attribute. Now this helper has three overloads. Now we have just saw the first overload. Now we are moving towards the second overload. Now the second overload says uh, it has third parameter as well which is the object HTML attributes wherein you can assign any attribute to the control like class attribute or wherein you can uh, define style for the control so where I am saying let it's height to height be 20 pixel and width be 20 pixel and I am refreshing the page now you can see the size of the radio button has increased as style attribute is also applied to the control now the third parameter or the third overload the third overload accepts the i dictionary object of the html attributes so in this case you can create a dictionary object wherein you can pass multiple attributes and you can use that object or you can pass that object as a third parameter to apply multiple attributes in a single row so this is how you can use radio button for helper for model binding and to render a radio button for the models property thank you friends